Hey guys, how's it going? I know it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, been really busy at work and stuff these past few days. And actually, I posted a few tutorials on my other channel. But those um, have actually either been older tutorials that I've just redone in just a few minutes. Or something that didn't take but a couple minutes to do. But I really haven't had much time for the Macverse PC. Because man, I've just been, been a busy time of year at work for some reason. Uh, but anyways, this is just a quick video, just an update to let you know, sorry, I plan on doing a couple videos over the weekend, so hopefully by Sunday or Monday I'll have a couple videos posted to make up for the dry spell. Um, but until then, this little video is for guys that, you know, enjoy their browsers. I found a good little browser, okay, and it's called Stainless, S-T-A-I-N-L-E-S-S, -S -S, for Mac OS X. Now, um... Here it is, right here, as you can see. This is the, the home page of it. Now, this is a unique, a unique browser. It's very light, and it's very, it's not very feature-rich. You're not going to get all the fancy features like in Firefox or Safari or Opera or whatever you use. But what it is, is sleek and fast. Now, I'm going to read this here, and you all are more than capable of reading this yourselves, but for some of you who maybe just don't want to go check it out, don't care, don't want to read... I'll go through it for you. Now, Stainless is a multi-process browser for OS X Leopard. Although Stainless started out as a technology demo to showcase our own multi-processing architecture in response to Google Chrome, we've been inspired by our growing fan base to forge ahead and craft Stainless into a full-fledged browser. In fact, Stainless now has features you won't find in Chrome or any other browser. A prime example is Parallel Sessions. Which, now get this, this is cool. Which allow you to log into a site using different credentials in separate tabs at the same time. Now I want you to think about that. I'm going to read that again. A prime example is Parallel Sessions. Which allows you to log into a site using different credentials in separate tabs at the same time. This new technology is woven throughout Stainless. From the private cookie storage system to the session-aware bookmarks that remember the session in which they are saved. We're excited to showcase what we believe is a true browser innovation. Please note that Stainless is still in development and doesn't yet have all the features you'd find in production-ready browsers. As we work towards a 1.0 release, you can check out what's new in every update by clicking the version link under the download button. So you see, this may be the future of browsing. I don't know. And what's cool about it is... Um, you see, you don't have a search bar, but if you go up to stand preferences, what's good about this is, is um, I can set what I want my default search to be, and check this out, Bing, you know, for visual search, <clears throat> Bing is actually pretty good. If I'm shopping and I want to see pictures of motorcycles or digital cameras, Bing is a really good visual search engine. Um, I mean, Google still produces probably better results for those. Um, you know, hard to find subjects. It's just Google is so broad. It's such a good search engine. They've been doing it for so long. But I just really hate Google's monopolistic hold on the internet almost worse than I do Microsoft's monopolistic hold on the operating system desktop stuff. Um, and I know Microsoft is Bing, but I think it's really cool that I can now set Bing or Yahoo. And you can do this in other web browsers too, but this is, I think, the first one that I've come across. I'm not saying it's the first one ever, just the first one I've come across that offers Bing as a def default search browser, you know? Um, and the thing about it is, there's no search bar. All you do is you use this address bar for, it's a dual purpose. It's a, you can type in your address, say www.youtube.com, okay? Well, if I type it right, it would work. Okay, you can just type it in that way and you see how fast it pulls it up there. Well, let's try www.apple.com. You see it works, boom, super fast. You've seen how quick that pulled that Apple page up there. Um, and as you can see, I go to the store and it's fast. It's really fast. And, it, and, it, and I can see all of my processes being used when I use this thing. And of course, I'm using QuickTime too, uh, which has a lot to do with it. But, like I said, this is a dual purpose. Now, you can see I can type in the web page, or I can just go up here and type in, let's just search for cameras. 
And I, and I just type in cameras and boom, it automatically pulls up my default search page, whatever I have as a default search page. You can see I had Bing set this time. Um, there's also a new Bing. I'm not sure if the address, visual search maybe. Yeah, the Bing's new beta visual search. Really, really cool. Um, you can see here that it, it sometimes it kind of works and sometimes it don't, but you can see when it does work, they've got a real cool handle on bringing something new to the table when it comes to search engines. You know, everybody thinks, how can I, um, how can I come out with a new spin? Because how can we compete? Search engines just do one thing. It's hard to innovate. And this is pretty innovative. Granted, it's Microsoft, and God, I hate everything Microsoft does. But it's finally reassuring to see them to see somewhere a group of people associated with Microsoft that's kindly innovating a little bit. You know, still I use Google probably because it's really good. I get my good results and it's just, you know, everywhere. But, you know, Bing has potential. But regardless, I got to go back up to preferences and let's change this from Bing back to Google. And when I type something in here, let's go to a different search bar. Let's type in Ford. You can see, boom, it goes to my Google page. Now I have my Bing here, my Google here. And you can see how fast it pulls these pages up. I really like Stainless. Okay, I really like Stainless, the new browser for OS X here. And I really like where Bing is going with their new beta, visual search beta. Um, I hope they don't fuck this up too. Excuse my language. Because Microsoft has a reputation of buying plant th companies and, and, and letting them die or killing them. So I hope I don't do this with Bing because Bing's doing some good stuff and I, and I hope Microsoft don't ruin them. So um, this is just a quick video to show you guys Stainless. Really good, really fast browser, really clean. I love it. And the new visual search beta by Bing. So check it out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.